so hello guys hope you all are doing pretty well so today we are going to discuss about a new topic that is java 11 rewind basic fine so if you are watching this video in 2021 i hope you are having some sort of idea on java 1.8 because in this video i am going to continuously talk about java 11 so if you know java 1.8 then you can easily sync it with java 11 right but if you want to learn java 11 you can follow some article or you can watch some videos in youtube and if you want me to create such kind of videos so you just put it in the comment below i will try best for my end out of 100 99 people know only java 11 you just don't want to be counted in the same flock right that's how you came to this video no? so initially i thought of creating a spring boot tutorial i thought java is not at all sufficient for directly jumping into spring boot before that we have to surpass that range from java to spring boot not java 11 but java v1 basic you have to know something apart from normal java so here we are going to talk about high order functions like lambdas and streams which are going to simplify our business logic by the size of complexity we are going to talk about logging testing etc fine so one more thing i'm going to talk in this tutorial is regular expression which nobody usually touch when they are studying normal java okay so i'm going to just cover some small glimpse of that and also after regular expression i will talk about date and time api and uh, finally we will talk about functional interface right and we'll wind up this video and in next video we will talk more specifically what are all the things which we are going to cover in our java 11 b wind basic so let's just start with regular expression i will open my pend and I will just write regular expression. Now what is this regular expression? So this regular expression is a special sequence of character that helps in matching or finding other strings or set of strings using a specialized syntax. Got it? So uh, uh, to be precise, regex are used in searching, editing and manipulating the text. Okay, I'll write here. Now, the regex API provides the necessary classes and interface for working with this regular expression. So there are some sort of methods like matches, split, replace first, replace all. Now I will directly dive into the code and show you how it works. Okay. I will take some example and I will show you how it is working. Um, some examples are like matches, I, I, I may give you matches and all. Let's see. So before that i have to tell you one more thing what you have to do for working in java 11 okay so open your chrome and uh, just type for java 11 okay go to this oracle come down you can download this zip folder just select it download this jdk may ask for the login credential you just provide this login credential and hit the download automatically it will get downloaded fine so I'm already having this JDK I will show it to you so you just come to E and you can find it in programming software here is my JDK right just open this JDK go to bin and I will tell you how to Set the path for this so you just copy and paste till bin you come wherever you, your folder got down, downloaded just ac extract it out and you just copy this okay copy this and then you have to open environment variable so you just better select the first one go to environment variable don't do anything in this one user variable you, you have to come to this and uh, you can see it over here you just press edit and copy and paste it there you will find this thing and just hit ok 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 and ok everywhere ok already it is set in my location and finally what you can do you open command prompt and then write java dash dash version you will find here 12 because in my system i already worked on 11 so now recently i'm working in 12 so i have installed this 12th one but you can install any 11th also 12 will also work fine with 11 you already know this okay so let's close this so you have already set your local path and all i've already given a glimpse of it so i think you must have done that now let's come to this i will tell you how to create project so come to java project first of all on what name we can give you click 
the figure cut channel in. Just don't create this module and all. It's not at all required by us. One more thing you can do is just right click here new and then create a package. Okay. This package will be like I will give com dot it. This is my package. Inside this package I will create one class. That class will be like regex. And we are going we are following here some coding standards like class name should always start with capital letter. Got it? I'm not going to do anything, just hit finish. The class is created. Now what you can do you just write main for creating your main method and what is this shortcut is control space. Just hit control and space and hit enter. Main method is being created for you. Now what we can do here is we can create one string. String str equal to some name I can give like the figure. I'll give now one more string I will create like regex. And here I can give the figure. You can see this both are not same. Now what I will do just see so right see so and control space. It will work like charm. Now what you can do, we'll check whether this str is matching with this regex or not. Okay, so what we'll do, our str dot matches. See here some suggestion came. You can just click on this matches and what regex name we have already given regex. So just hit enter and save this. Right click, go to run as Java application. Drag it out and you can see it's false because this D is not matching with that. If I'll just press it like normal D, you can see here now you can easily run from here. It is true, so it is matching, right? Oh, uh, so many things are there in this widget. I'm just telling you this basic commands like matches and all are so many fun. So many functions are there in this widget. Now what you can do? Suppose if you have to find something like a string name. Name will be what? Name will be like, I am going to give you one use case. Name will always contain alphabet. So what we can do, A to Z or A to Z. That's it. Fine. This is our regex. We have created this regex. Now I will just delete this. And uh, this is our regex. So I will give name as regex. And this is our name. So I will give name. Name is difficult and it should match with this. So now if our name is matching this regex, then only it should print true. So just save and run. It is giving false. Okay, what we have done mistake here is we have given only one character. Now it will treat it as a single character. If it is a single character, I will show you. Then it will definitely give true. Okay. Suppose if we have written something. If we have written Sony. Then we have to give it over here like a star, not a star, plus. Y plus I will tell you one more time. Let me run this. Now you can see it true. Plus resembles here as can be one or more, not zero. It should not be like empty. If empty will be given, then it will give definitely false. Got it? So if you are giving here a star, then it will treat it as zero and you, your answer will be like true. Because this star is resembling as zero or more. So here 0, so it is matching with our given terminology. So we will give some name Sony and here what we can do, we can give it plus and it should work like charm. This is, a, I, I just told you normal regex, you can create any kind of regex that uh, it should not contain any number. Suppose if I will give 9 and here 9, just save it and run it, you should get some false. Great. Now if you want to create regex for mobile number, then what you can do? 0 to 9. And you can in curly braces what you can give only 10 digit it should contain. Okay, suppose now 10 digit is what 9898. This is our mobile number. It is of 10 digit and it contains from 0 to 9. Here what we have done one space we have given which we don't have to give. Just save it and then read on it. So we are getting this true. So likewise we can just use regex and we can find so many things as I already told you in our trying like we can do the searching, we can do the editing, we can do the manipulation. What I will do, I'll, let me delete this regex or let me refract the name itself. 
rename it and i will give it as java date java date fine so let's give the name as java date again let's create a main method so what we are going to do here is we are going to use local date okay so for local date what i can write local date l local date is a immutable class so local date l equal to now local date dot so many functions are there i will just write local date dot now now you can see what is the today's date fine so i will do before l save it and run it so today's date is this 21 3 2021 right oh there are so many other methods in this okay so what i can do i will just write some of the method because i am not going to give all the function over here you can just go to the website of oracle and you can get all the methods local date l equal to local date dot off and you can see here off method is overridden just select any one of them in year month and days we have to pass here okay and it will return us the instance of local date so what is the year 2020 suppose 2020 i'll give month will be like 02 and day of the month is 26 right and just comment it out save it and run it so you can get this so whenever you have to do any manipulation kind of thing you can use this local date of off so that you can get your own date in the form of means what it is actually giving you it is actually giving you the instance of local date you have just provided year month and day and it has given you instance of local date so there are so many methods like that only like minus plus now suppose if we have to format something we have to format this date so date time formatter you can see here date time formatter is coming you just select this date time formatter df equal to what we can write here date time formatter dot which pattern we have so we have to create some pattern if you write pa something is coming you don't have to remember everything you don't have to recognize everything you just write whatever you know and see since i have written this pattern it is automatically giving me off pattern i have not remembered it everything since it's not there in my head so just click off pattern and what pattern we can give so suppose here we are getting years month and days so this time what i want this time i want it in the format of date for month j there is mm and small m is for minute so just remember it and in just two digits uh, i just want this year okay fine so what i can do here uh, df because uh, we have created the formatter fine so how to use this formatter so df dot just format it df dot format and what i can give this l this l i want to format in this particular form right just save this and run this we'll get 26 2 and 20 right so you can see 2020 you got so likewise there are so many functionalities in this and suppose if you have to add some something in this in this local date l <coughs> sorry for that so what i can do here in this l only what i am going to do l dot just plus you have to use plus and you will get some some of the methods like you want to add some days or you want to add some months or week or years anything i am just going to add this days how many days you want to add so this is 26 i just want to add two days so hopefully our answer should be 28 2 and 20 so let's see whether it is getting changed or not so you can see here 28 to 20 is coming so likewise you can do any kind of manipulation and you can utilize it in your code which we'll see when we'll start our spring boot tutorial fine okay just delete this all and the last thing which we are going to look functional interface 
so what is basically functional interface let me refresh my code rename as functional interface functional into so we have changed the thing to functional interface just remove this unused package so what is this functional interface uh, in java 8 only it got introduced so they are a special case of regular interface that have only one abstract method and one or more default method got it what i said now what we can do here we can create one interface okay let's create one interface interface do and let's give some name uh, method name so int do only i will give int do just close it out and uh, this is what this is our functional functional interface because as i said you the interface which are having only one abstract method and one or more default methods so default method in the sense suppose i will write default and some something like int then check and something it will be there like a return one i will just do this so this is what this is our default method and only one abstract method should be there so abstract method already we have done like int do something so this is what our abstract method and this is our default method so we are having a, only having this this set if suppose if if i am having something more like boolean boolean checker whether we will call this interface as functional interface no we can't call because it is having more than one abstract method right so only we are going to look into one method that is so this is our functional interface if the function looks like this then we call this function as a functional interface got it so in our spring boot we can use some annotation like at the rate functional interface and we can use this so this is all about functional interface now in the next tutorial what we will do we will directly start with lambdas and strings thank you bye